All right, let's talk showbiz now. My pizza Sabine has joined me, and uh, one of the big events we have coming up this weekend is to do the Fantastic Four trip. Yes, and tomorrow we are going up Mount Afajato. And when I say we, I mean I will be there and I will walk up. Oh, you will? Yes. Okay. Yes. I will walk up and I will see the view and I will cry and I will laugh. It takes and quite a bit to go up there. I've heard. I've heard. You're ready it, it, it took Nancy and Fajardosi like three hours. But let's take some highlights from last year's trip. Ayola. Ah, well, let's fast forward. Yes. Is that as you go? Are we coming? <laughs> she has given up. No. Boss, we have to go. Let's take her back. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, it's your mom. I'm going to sign your mom. Let's go. Okay, so we've, do, we've just done okay. <laughs> quarter of this whole journey. Uh, I'm tired. The saga was right. I feel like removing my shirt. But John, John Dumelo is here. John, yeah. how are you feeling after the first quarter? Well, uh, the energy is still there, as you can see. <laughs> you climb small, you rest. But uh, the reason why I'm here is because I'm waiting for everybody to come. <laughs> to come to the same level that we move. You know, unity is key. But uh, this is my third attempt. In fact, this is my third time, third time trying to climb the mountain. And I hope I succeed the third time. Let me explain this. Those of us who were left at the back used two and a half hours to climb this mountain. That's like driving from Accra to Mankesim. There were those who completed the journey on a motorbike because they just couldn't continue. Others even gave up. The mountain is too high and it's too straight, so I couldn't. Did you start at all? Yes, I reached the middle and I come back. It's different, it's very different, it's, and it's tiring. On your way up, you will probably swear never to do this again, but once you, you descend and you settle, you would want to come back. I'm sure it's going to be mad fun. Yes, it is, yeah. and I'm very excited about that. But let's go to International Women's Day. Izzy, first of all, you didn't wish me. Like, uh, well, you had... happy International Women's oh, Day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I caught up with some two South African gospel artists. Maybe I'll give you this. This is what I got uh, on International Women's oh, Day, so I'll give it you. to you, Rust, okay. uh, you know. wristband. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I caught up with two South African gospel artists, Mabongi Mabaso and Mahali Buchanan, and they were just encouraging young girls to pursue their dreams. For example, Miss Buchanan has been in the industry for like 15, 10 years, 15, 10 to 15 years. Right. So it's been a long time. And she's just encouraging you that no matter who you are, girl, boy, pursue your dreams. I do believe that we as females need to create more platforms where we're able to support women and push them into the forefront. That if one woman is succeeding, we're all succeeding. I think we definitely need to create platforms like that where we stand, you know, we stand for truth because the way that society is created is that the male child or the male will always be leading. It's not necessarily that we have a problem with it, but I just believe that we should create equal opportunities for all. Yeah. But then do you think society in some way helps in promoting gender equality? I would definitely say that um, society definitely does. And I think um, there's a lot that we can do to you know, reverse. Uh, I think culture plays a very, very big role in that as well, where the male is always perceived to be the one leading. Um, and as we say that women are just as talented, and I definitely believe that there's a lot that we can do to reverse the cycle. The fact that I'm in a female body does, doesn't really mean that um, I can't really do much or I, can, I won't be able to uh, take on the task at hand. Um, so I, I, I feel women should be treated as she goes again. You know, I know they always like saying, okay, you guys are emotional beings and stuff like that. And even the way we handle things, sometimes we handle them emotionally and stuff like that. But I think women should be given a fair chance, just like everyone. Yeah. yeah. But do you also think that society plays a vital role in gender equality? Because you know, in an African society, mm. they'll be like, no, girls must be in the kitchen, boys must go play outside. So do you think society does help in gender equality? Um, unfortunately, it does that at home. Growing up, that's, that's what you taught. You know, as a, as a girl child, um, even at an early, early, early age, you are already prepared to 
carry a family when you grow. So it's unfortunate that from home already, it's like we, they program us to think that way already. And I think as parents or our parents should teach us, you're a girl, you're a boy, you can do anything that you can put your mind to. You're a girl, you're a boy, you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. Uh, like uh, Serena Williams uh, mm -hmm. said, if they call you crazy, show them what crazy can do. But now let's talk, to some, talk about some crazy news. Uh, a four hour documentary about Michael Jackson has been released. Uh, but now it focuses on two young men who say that they were sexually abused by him. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people have been coming up and saying that, especially supporters of Michael Jackson, like, no, you're trying to taint the name of the legend. How could you do that? And the brothers came out and said, we know our brother, and he wouldn't do something like that. Uh, but let's check out the trailer of that documentary. Everybody wanted to meet Michael or be with Michael. And then he likes you. I was seven years old. Michael asked, do you and the family want to come to Neverland? We drive in and forget about all your problems. You were in Neverland. It was a fantasy. The days were filled with magical childhood adventure experiences. Playing tag, watching movies, eating junk food, anything you could ever want as a child. It's like hanging out with a friend that's more your age. Just kid things. They were just doing kid things. He just came across as a loving, caring, kind soul. It was easy to believe that he was just that. Out of a storybook, right? Out of a fairy tale. Hello, Wade. Today is your birthday. So congratulations. I love you. Goodbye. There's no thoughts of this is wrong or anything like that. He told me if they ever found out what we were doing, he and I would go to jail for the rest of our lives. Secrets will eat you up. You feel so alone. I want to be able to speak the truth as loud as I had to speak the lie for so long. Now, I mean, Michael Jackson, he's known as a legend, and I mean, it's Michael Jackson. Yeah. So it's, it's like, I, I, it's heartbreaking. And especially with this, we used to girl victims, female victims, and now it comes out that it's two young males, you know? It, it's like, I don't even know what to say. It's just so heartbreaking. Except, and, except <laughs> right now we don't have Michael Jackson to you know, respond to that. Yeah, we don't. And you, you know, for, for me, like, it just says, okay, so with R. Kelly, people are just saying, you guys are trying to take down R. Kelly, just try, take down R. Kelly. But now the victim is saying that he's dead. There's, although he has an image, but right now he's not here, so I can't taint his image, so I can't touch him in there, and I want you to feel some sort of pain. He's dead. So for me, it just, makes it even more real that there's no person that I can touch and be like, Izzy, this is what you did to me. There's no person. Yeah. They're speaking out. Like he said, he was like, I want to speak the truth as loudly as I kept silent. Yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking for me. But that will be I can imagine. You're, taking, you're even taking away. Yeah. Emotions are taking over you. Thank you very much, uh, Mapizzo, for...